Hello YouTube. Basically gonna teach you how to install a T-Shock Terraria server in this tutorial. Uh, it being way more interesting than a vanilla regular server. First of all we're gonna open Google Chrome and navigate to tshock.co which is the website for T-Shock. Then you're gonna go to the download section, click on it, and it will redirect you to the GitHub from the download. Shouldn't take much. Meanwhile, we're going to go to the desktop and create a folder called Terraria Server in which we'll extract the files we just downloaded. Alright. Now, open the zip file. Then we extract everything to the folder we just created. Terraria Server, unzip. Alright, now that we unzipped everything, you'll notice an executable Terraria Server file, which will be the application you'll, you'd run in order to start your server, and a server plugins folder. Let's not get into details now, but let's just say it shortly and briefly. Server plugins is the folder where you'll drop all the server plugins you'll be downloading from T-Shock now you'll need to port forward port 7777 from your router this is very important this will allow other clients to connect to your server let's try running the server the application you see the version and you will see different worlds here there are no worlds it's a clean stop so you're gonna want to create a new world Type N, then choose the size, 1 for small, 2 for medium, 3 for large. 1 is essentially a bit small for a server and 3 could be a bit too large. And the, the larger the world, the higher the CPU and RAM requirements. So let's start with a medium world, 2. And the word name, we're gonna call it Tab Sport YouTube. It will just start unknown, whatever. Could take a bit too long since it's the first time we actually load the world it's creating it actually now spider caves go. all right it's done as you can see here that block youtube new world delete world one corresponds to tabs for youtube we're going to choose one and load the server now we're gonna have to choose a port. If you already a port forwarded your router to 7777, just press enter. It's the default port for Terraria. And it's the port I actually recommend. So there you go. Alright. Server is running. On port 7777 and locally on our IP. That's basically it. Now we just have to log into the game, type auth and this number, and then you'll be granted super admin permissions then you can always type help for extra help should all show the full help list and the entire list of commands that you could use and you'd want to use when playing on your terraria server good luck and have fun